that's, that's made them such a success. We went with them to Northwich to find out exactly that. Besides salt, what it is that's put the town on the map. <laughs> This is Northwich here. Ten years ago, there was nothing there. It's one of those, basically, the places that you just want to get out of all the time, you know. And uh, there's always something greener. When you see the TV, like, and it says, join the army to get out of what you're doing, but I thought, well, better join a group, you know. And uh, they saw this advert in uh, our manager's shop in Northwich, and, like, it was... Um, a band called the Charlatans. I thought, ooh, I've heard that name before. <laughs> so I thought, I'll have a look. My name's Steve Harrison. I'm the manager of the Charlatans. I also own a couple of record stores, one of which is based in Northwich. Tim actually joined the band through an advert that we placed in the shops, asking for a new guitarist and a new singer. Tim went for the singer's job. Um, from the first get-together, if you like, um, it gelled really well and um, we offered Tim the position of the singer for the charlatans. And on the way back we were just like really excited about you know what could happen or whatever and like we'd only written one song I think. And it was just brilliant. We're Steve and Andy Wood and we write the charlatans fanzine looking for the orange one. And we've been selling them at the gigs and everything because they're just they're dead sussed. They are the top band. I've always been into a bit of journalism like writing things. And things are getting better in Northwich now since since um They've started. I get quite a kick from it, really. Uh, and before them, the Northwich was nothing. You know, but now, it's going places. And the last time we played at Northwich, did a secret sort of like gig, uh, just Northwich Memorial or people dancing about. It was really good. Dead exciting. I thought, yeah, it's, it's going to get better. The I suppose I'm probably the biggest shortest fan myself, actually, because, uh, you know, music's, like, dead danceable. I know it sounds a bit cliché, like, everything, but it really is. I mean, the first time I heard it, was just, you just can't, you know, you just, I can't see anyone just standing there not dancing the music. It's just really good. When writing a song, I don't sort of like think about specific things really. But apart from like, I try and keep away from love and emotions and that as much as I can because I don't really know whether I've experienced it. I should imagine songwriting will develop like as I probably develop more emotionally. You know, I don't think I've ever been in love. I'd like to one day. <laughs> the public eye, innit, you know? I never thought of, like, wanting to be recognised in the street. I've just wanted to be in, like, the greatest band ever, you know? That's always my main ambition. I think it's, like, just about straight performance and good songs, really. I think like, that's, like, the recipe for... ..getting noticed, I think. As soon as we've got the bigger audience, it's like only, uh, the record company started coming. Looking for us, found a bit of an interest, like, you know? Started what? a bit of a buzz. <laughs> considerable following from Northwich and the surrounding area and uh, there's a lot of pride there you know and we're still based here and we always will be. I can see the shots is becoming like so big now that uh, we'll have a Northwich bandwagon jumpers like is that like Manchester bandwagon jumpers? They got these little bands popping up from Northwich now. Once they get bigger we'll still be in Northwich and we'll be still plugging away. Yeah. 